Serious burn injuries are suffered by thousands of people every year. Burns can be life-threatening, the most critical injury the human body can survive. Burns and burn-related injuries are caused by flames, <coughs> smoke, hot liquids, chemicals, and electric current. Burn injuries to the skin are described by the depth of tissue damage. Superficial partial thickness or first degree burns injure or destroy the outermost layers. The skin appears dry, pink to red, may be blistered and is moderately painful. First degree burns heal spontaneously without scarring. Deep partial thickness or second degree burns injure or destroy two or more layers of skin. The skin is moist, red or mottled, has thick walled blisters and is extremely painful. Second degree burns may heal spontaneously with scarring or require skin grafting. Full thickness or third degree burns destroy all layers of the skin. The skin looks waxy white, deep red, leathery brown, or black. There is no pain or feeling in these burns because all nerve endings have been destroyed. Third degree burns must be grafted to heal properly. Severe skin burns are usually a combination of second and third degree burns. If you suffer a small first or second degree burn, here is what you should do. To stop the pain, immediately soak the area in a container of cold water for 30 minutes or longer. Or apply cold, wet cloths to the area. Do not use ice directly on the burn it will damage the tissue even more. When the pain is gone, gently dry the area and leave it exposed to the air or cover it with a clean dry dressing. Do not apply butter, fats or ointments because they soften and break down skin cells and encourage infection. If blisters are present, leave them intact. They protect the injured tissues from infection while healing takes place. Mom? That workman's in there. Get some help. In case of a major burn or burn-related injury, there are emergency actions you can take. First, stop the burning. Extinguish flames by rolling the victim on the ground or by covering him with a large, heavy fabric. Then, 
immediately drench the victim with generous amounts of water or any available liquid that won't burn. The important thing is to stop the burning quickly and completely. The second emergency action is to make sure the victim is breathing and his heart is beating. <laughs> Go get help quick. Synthetic fabrics and metal retain heat, so remove all jewelry and burn clothing. Don't try to remove fabric that sticks to the skin. Just cool it thoroughly. A burn victim's greatest danger is from rapid loss of body heat and fluids. The third emergency action is to conserve the victim's body heat and fluids by wrapping him in a clean sheet or any clean fabric. When necessary, Roll the victim gently on his side. Spread out two or three blankets or other warm material. Next, lay a clean sheet or any clean fabric over the blankets. Then, wrap the material completely around the body. The head should be covered as well because it is a major source of body heat loss. The fourth emergency action is to get the victim to the hospital as rapidly as possible. Burn injuries can also result from contact with chemicals that generate heat. In most cases, stop the burning by flooding the skin immediately with water. Then remove all involved clothing, including underclothes and jewelry. Continue flooding the skin with water for at least 20 minutes before taking the victim to the hospital. If eyes are burned by a chemical, immediately flood them with water. If the victim is wearing contact lenses, remove them after flooding the eyes. Then, continue flooding and hold the eyes open to direct water under both lids. If only one eye is burned, as in this case, be sure to direct water flow away from the unaffected eye. If the chemical has gotten into the victim's mouth, flood the mouth with water, but tell her not to swallow it. Extensive damage could result from chemicals swallowed with the water. Severe injury can also be caused by electric current Electric current injury to skin always results in full thickness or third degree destruction. But most of the damage is invisible and often devastating. Electric current passes through the body to the ground, taking the path of least resistance through nerves, blood vessels and tissues richly supplied with blood. Between the small skin burns where electric current entered and left the body may lie massive internal tissue damage. If electric current can't be easily shut off, try to knock the victim free without touching him. Use a dry wooden stick. Otherwise, there may be two victims instead of one.
in burn and burn-related injuries, the second emergency action is to make sure the victim is breathing and his heart is beating. Hey! Get some help! Electric current injuries often stop the victim's heart. If this happens, and you are properly trained, immediately begin cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Continue until breathing and heartbeat are restored or expert help arrives to take over. Smoke inhalation is often a burn-related injury that can be life-threatening by causing damage to the lungs. The lungs are not burned, but particles inhaled from incompletely burned materials interfere with breathing. Get the victim into fresh air as quickly as possible. If she is conscious, have her breathe deeply and slowly. Suspect injury from smoke inhalation whenever a person is trapped in a burning building or closed space, whether smoke is visible or not. Also, suspect smoke inhalation injury if the victim stood upright while clothing burned, if face and neck are burned, if there is soot in the nose or mouth, if nasal hairs or eyebrows are singed, or if the victim develops a brassy cough or change of voice. <coughs> Although burns can produce severe injuries, here are some things you can do to prevent them. Wear protection when using harmful chemicals. Keep liquids that burn away from a flame. Turn pan handles away from the edge of the stove. Make sure children do not play with electrical wiring. No, no. Store dangerous chemicals in locked cabinets. Keep matches and lighters out of the reach of children and be on the lookout for other situations that could result in burn injuries. If burn injuries do occur, remember these four emergency actions. Stop the burning. Establish the victim's breathing and heartbeat. <coughs> Conserve the victim's body heat and fluids. Get the victim to the hospital quickly. Knowing these four actions could help you save a life.